Hello friends, in today's video we're going to take a look at the best builds for the brand new Hisuian Decidueye 7 Star Terror Raid that's been announced in Scarlet and Violet. So this new 7 Star Terror Raid for Hisuian Decidueye will be running from October the 6th over that weekend until the 8th and it will be returning the following weekend for a second round from the 13th until the 15th of October. As of recording this video, we've got about a week's preparation to get ready for this event. And to kick us off, we're going to take a quick overview of Hisuian Decidueye, what its options are and what it's likely to look like coming into this 7 star terror rate event. So with that 30 times multiplier to its HP, it's going to be sitting around 9510 HP. That's the damage you're going to have to do to knock it out. Of course, it is the Hisuian variant of Decidueye. It is a grass and fighting type as its base typing, but with its terror typing in this raid, event it will be pure grass will be set to level 100 as always and it's likely going to have that hidden ability scrappy that it does have access to meaning that normal and fighting type attack moves will be able to hit ghost type pokemon going into this one it's got a base speed of 60 so pretty slow pokemon compared to our other seven star raids that we've had recently and like always it will be catchable once per save file its physical attacks when we're outlining what hisu and decidueye will probably have are going to be leaf blade triple arrows which is its signature fighting type attack Attack, a knockoff or sucker punch giving a dark coverage and brave bird as well as its most powerful flying type attack it is in other realms of possibility that decidueye could be a mixed attacker so it's always good to look at the special options that it does have access to grass coverage in leaf storm very powerful attack it will reduce its special attack by two stages every time it uses it air slash is another flying type coverage that it does get access to and aura sphere as well as a special fighting type attack although i feel like it's probably going to have triple arrows over anything else if it does have any fighting type attack just because of that being its signature attack now setup options that hisui and decidueye does have at its disposal are sword stance boosting its attack by two stages every time it uses it bulk up is another one might not be too far-fetched to think that it's probably got access or might have access to both of these options it does get access to nasty plot as well another way to boost its stats and specifically nasty plot boosting that special attack by two stages every time it uses it which might pair up nicely with something like Leaf Storm. Talking about Leaf Storm and that drop that it does get, his is another option that could be pretty annoying if we do see that on the Hisuian Decidueye because it can remove those stat drops that you get from the Leaf Storm if it goes down a mixed or special route. And it will also hinder the ability of ourselves being able to set up to do big damage to this seven star terror raid. All in all, Hisuian Decidueye doesn't have great coverage. And I would say that it's predominantly gonna be a physical attacker in this raid. Of course, we can't say until the raid actually goes live. But when overviewing its move pool and having an overview of its stats, it's definitely got a higher attacking stat than it does a special attacking stat for it to take advantage of like i say though it's always good to just look at all of the options that we've got available coming out from to in Decidueye when we go into this terror raid on the 6th of October. So that is the overview of Hisu in Decidueye. Now I have put a few builds together for preparation for this raid. Of course, it goes without saying that we can't definitively say that something's going to be better than anything else before the raid actually goes live. But if you do want to put some builds together before going in, then these are a few options that are going to be great going in against this Hisu in Decidueye when it does go live. Of course, if you want to hold off building anything until the event does go live we here on the channel will be covering the best solo pokemon to go in against this in decidueye so we will be putting that up very shortly after the raid goes live and we've done that initial testing but if you do like i say want to put something together before this raid goes live and you want some building projects over the next week these are going to be the ones to go for so if we hop into game the first one that we're going to actually feature today is going to be iron moth so just move my camera out the way Iron Moth is a fire and poison type Pokemon. It's going to resist all of the grass type attacks. It's going to resist the fighting type attacks as well because of its poison typing. And it's not really going to get hit super effectively from any of the other coverage that we're likely to see on the Hisuian Decidueye being flying or dark. Terra typing on this Iron Moth we've opted for is fire and its held item is an expert belt. Now we are level 100 of course and an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack with a modest nature. Quark drive is the ability and we have the moveset sunny day, morning sun, acid spray and fury dance. So the idea behind this set would be to go for those three acid sprays. It's going to lower the special defense on the target Pokemon even through its shield by two stages every time you use it. 
this. Then you're going to combine this by using the Sunny Day, which is going to boost the overall power of Fury Dance. And the reason why we're using Fury Dance over anything like Heat Wave or Flamethrower is because every time you use this move, you have a 50% chance of boosting your special attacking stat on the Iron Moth. Now, the one drawback with Iron Moth is it doesn't get access to Nasty Plot or Calm Mind anywhere to boost its special attack. But Fury Dance does give you a good chance every turn to get a special attack boost, which is going to play and combine really nicely with the Acid Spray that's low on the special defense on the Hisuian Decidui every time you use it. You've got Morning Sun there as a line of recovery and under the sun, you are going to be restoring all of your health. So that's a really nice kind of complementary way to run the Iron Moth. I really think that this is probably going to do really well against the Hisuian Decidui. The only thing that I would maybe say that you could change if the Hisuian Decidui is predominantly more physical attacker, you could take the HP EVs out and just put them all into that defense stat. So you could go 252 special attack, 252 defense, and then put the remaining four in HP. But otherwise, this is going to be a fine set for you to go in with and probably one of the best Pokemon to kind of prepare going into this raid before it does drop. Next Pokemon we're going to feature is Armor Rouge, the Fire and Psychic type. Terra typing on this one is going to be Fire. It is going to resist the Grass type attacks from the Hisuian Decidui. And of course, with its Psychic typing, it will resist the Fighting type attacks as well that we're likely to see come out of it. We've got the Shell Bell item on here as a line of recovery. So we've got a way to stay on the field a bit longer whilst we're setting up. Level 100 once again and a moveset of Clear Smog, Acid Spray, Calm Mind and Heat Wave with an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack, and a modest nature with the ability Flash Fire here. So the basic premise of this, again, a bit like the Iron Moth, we're gonna utilize that Acid Spray early on and to lower the special defense of that Hisuian Decidui. By the time you're using that as well, it does count as an attack, so you can Trastalize pretty early. You've got Calm Mind as well to boost your special attack. It is gonna boost your special defense. I don't think that'll come into play though. And if the Hisuian Decidui does have Bulk Up or Sword Stance, you've got Clear Smog that you can use on it to remove any stat boost to its side of the field. So if it is getting very strong, if it has used Sword Stance or we see it using Bulk Up a few times, you can just remove those stat boosts by using that Clear Smog and that will work through the shield as well, which is really nice way of just kind of keeping it under control in the raid. Of course, it goes without saying that the Clear Smog is going to conflict with the special defense drops that you apply with Acid Spray. So by negating any attack boost that the Hisuian Decidui does apply to itself, you're going to remove any of the work that you've done with Acid Spray up to that point. But if the Hisuian Decidui is getting to plus six with those Sword Stance boosts or Bulk Up boosts, it is a really good countermeasure to get rid of those boosts. And the trade-off is just losing those special defense drops that you've applied, which can be reapplied again. If you don't like the conflict of having the Clear Smog on here, then Sunny Day is an alternative option that you can use instead of the Clear Smog on Armor Rouge. Heat Wave is going to be primarily our main way of hitting it after we've used those Acid Sprays maybe three to four car mines and you should be doing a lot of damage especially after you terrestrialize with the armor rouge now another option is going to be serilege it is a fire and ghost type now you would think with the ghost typing it would be really good against the hisuian decidui but in fact if it has got that scrappy ability it will be hit by the fighting type attacks as well so it might not be the best option but it still will be able to handle itself pretty well and i think the combination of attacks that we've put together it can go in and do a decent job against it either way we've got the expert belt as its held item level 100 fire terror typing on it with a moveset of Sunny Day, Sword Stance, Clear Smog, and Bitter Blade. We have the Flash Fire ability again there. EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack with an adamant nature this time on this one. We're pretty much using the Sword Stance three times, boost our attack two plus six, maxing that out. And then we're going to utilize the Sunny Day to further boost the Blitter Blade, which is going to give us that recovery and further boosted by the Expert Belt that we are holding as well. Clear Smog again on here is an option because it does give us a way to mitigate or remove any of those stat boosts on the Hisuian Decidui side of the field. And like I say, the Ghost Typing probably not as helpful in this match because of that scrappy ability that we're likely to see. I still think a decent option if you've got Serilege and it is something that you can probably use to decent effect going into this raid. And the final Pokemon that we're going to feature today is going to be Skeledurge. It is another Fire and Ghost type Pokemon. I would suggest going with the Fire type as its Terra type. I didn't have enough Terra Shards to change it on this one. But this one's going to be more of a supportive set if you want to go online 
and support team members this one's going to be a good pokemon to utilize to just chip away at the pursuing decidui throughout the raid and kind of support those other big special attackers like your iron moths and your armor rouges so skeledurge going to be a decent pokemon it is going to fall susceptible to those fighting type attacks with that scrappy ability like we've already seen on the Seraledge. so that ghost typing not going to be as helpful here uh, we've got the heat rock as the held item because it's going to prolong the amount of time the sun is on the field from five turns to eight turns and we do have a line of recovery on skeledurge as well so we don't need to really worry about having the shell bell here when another item could be utilized for a more supporting role a little bit more effectively so level 100 of course move set is going to be slack off helping hand sunny day and torch song it's pretty much the only move that you're going to really need the ability is going to be unaware so you are going to be kind of ignoring all of the stat boosts if we do see the decidui boosting its attack with the swords dance or even that special attack with nasty plot you're going to be ignoring all of those so it means that skeledurge can be in a pretty safe situation throughout the whole match and support its teammates pretty well i think one of the best supporters going into this one to be honest uh, we do have an ev spread on this one of 252 special attack 252 defense if it is a mixed decidui i would probably take all of that out of defense and just put it into the hp but otherwise it's predominantly a physical decidui set then we are going to just keep the ev spread as it is modest is the nature on this one basic premise is to just get your sun set up as soon as possible so set that sunny day up and then just spam the torch song you can help in hand partnering pokemon if you like if that is an option and then slack off when required to just heal up as you need to but that is the skeledurge the Seraledge, I think the Armor Rouge and the Iron Moth are probably the best options going into this one. I do really like Gengar into this raid as well, but I think with the Scrappy ability, it makes it a little bit more difficult to bring. Victory Bell is another option that I think is going to be very good potentially if we don't see any flying coverage from the Decidueye. So we'll have to just wait to see what the Decidueye turns out to be when it goes live on the 6th of October. But like I've already mentioned, We'll be covering the best Pokemon to solo with shortly after that raid goes up with all of the other details surrounding his suing decidui when it goes live in Scarlet and Violet. But I hope you found today's video useful, friends. If you have, please drop a like and do consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content here on the channel. I'd love to hear what you think, what the best build will be going in to the Hisuian Decidueye raid when it goes live in Scarlet and Violet on the 6th. I'm very excited for this one and I'm already wondering what the next one will be. We'll have to wait a little while before we get that information on that next 7 star terror. That'll be like the 15th of October. So not too long, but long enough. But in the meantime, we've got to concentrate on this Hisuian Decidueye. Thank you once again for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.